What's going on everyone? So I'm really sorry that this review is late uh, because I've just had a really busy week. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but anyways, so Dragon Ball Super Episode 71. This is the start of the Hit Returns, Goku Dies arc thing that they've got going on. Um, I really liked this episode. If only because for the first, like, half, we got to see a very, very out-of-character Goku. Um, I'm talking about, like, a guy... Like, we all know Goku. We know who Goku is, just, like, as a character, right? Uh, well, Chi-Chi calls him for dinner, and you've got this Goku that is at the dinner table with all of this food in front of him, eating rice one tiny piece at a time Goku now you you know now after seeing that something's up apparently Goku now has the ability then again he's always kind of had this to kind of sense like danger um he's always kind of had this ability like with Krillin and and other things like that he's always kind of had this ability to kind of sense you know when something's going wrong or something is about to be wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's able to sense it. He even tells Gohan. He even tells Gohan. He says, you know, someone is coming for my life. Like, someone is trying to kill me. I can I can feel it. I can sense it. And the entire time, he knows it's hit. I don't know if it's because he can feel his key, or if it's just his inner premonition, or just because it's a hunch. He knows it's hit somehow. Um, uh, and... Eventually, it gets to the point where he finally is just sitting there on a swing, and then he stands up, and he's like, I can feel his key. So he knows it's hit, uh, so especially that, at that point, because he's like, now I can feel his key. It's very subtle, but I can feel it. He's here. Um, but this episode had a lot of subtle nuances to the original series, like... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, one that I thought was really funny was when Bulma was driving down that highway and Goku gets in the way and she hits him and he's carrying the fish and everything just like the beginning of Dragon Ball the original uh the original Dragon Ball when Chi Chi or not Chi Chi when Bulma is is driving and she ends up hitting Goku with the car and Goku ends up lifting it up it's you know a whole scene dedicated to that uh so I thought that was really really nice to see um another thing I thought was really funny was when Goku, towards the beginning, when he was still, like, in that state of, like, borderline out of character because he could just feel something was going wrong. Uh, so he was just walking everywhere. He was doing his shopping or whatever, all with his eyes closed. And it, it, we got a really funny scene because he was walking through a movie theater. This one, actually, when I was watching it live, I was actually laughing really hard because he was walking through a movie theater as the movie was playing. And everyone's like, you know, what the hell? What, what are you doing? This is the best part. You know, get out of the way. And he's just walking in there. And then Goten and Trunks or Goten and Gohan are behind him just being like, a, sorry, sorry. Got a, you know, weirdo in front of me. Sorry. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. And then uh, we got Goku fighting Hit at the end of this week's episode. Um, really kind of sedate fight. Like, it wasn't, like, uh, anything epic, like I honestly thought it was going to be. Though it do it is continuing next episode, but I will get into that. Um, anyways, this episode, so, so its fight was very uh, sedate, like I already said. It was very calm. Uh, apparently, Hit has a new technique, and it's uh, kind of in line with his Toki Tobashi his time skip but not exact like Goku was throwing all these punches at him and he was like he, he wasn't hitting him he was almost going through him and Hit was like uh, do you honestly think I'd be foolish enough to use my Toki Tobashi or my time skip on you you know you already know how to, how to bypass it by now so it's something new um, so Goku was just throwing all these punches and he wasn't getting anywhere Hit throws one punch at his heart and he just you know starts swelling up and it's it's killing him he's gonna die but he fires this energy blast up into the sky and from what i've read from spoilers for the next episode uh you know if if you don't want to know this click away but i mean it's not too big of a deal because this is really just kind of a small arc apparently that beam that goku shoots 
uh, it comes back down and it hits Goku and it kind of like revives him. Like it kind of brings him back to life. Like it res- like it puts energy back into him and it brings him back. I think that's really cool. And that's a really cool ability that that uh, a new technique that Goku has in his reservoir of uh, attacks. Um, it's kind of weird because it's like, you know, why has he never done this before? You know, I'm curious how they're gonna how they're gonna make this work. Like if uh, when he saw Vegeta die on Planet Namek, why didn't he just you know shoot some energy into him to bring him back? If if that was really the case, but we'll see. We'll see how it does next next week episode. Uh, we'll just see what it, what that means. Though I do like one thing I really do like is that they do consciously are remembering that the Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, is still a God form. So um, it's an, like you know Goku Gohan was talking to Piccolo, and while they were talking, Goku was fighting Hit, and Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue, and uh, Gohan is, immediately stops, and Piccolo and him are talking, and they're like. Uh, we, I can't feel Goku's key anymore. That means he must have gone Super Saiyan Blue. So I'm like, oh, okay, I see. I, I still like how they like to throw those nudges at you. Like, guys, you know, it's still a god form, you know. But, um, yeah, overall, this was a really good episode. Uh, I, I, like I am, like I said earlier, I am going to get into the next episode preview. Um, basically, it's it's like, it's weird. The entire preview, like the audio that's talking over it, it's Gohan. And he's basically talking about, like, I can't believe Dad died, and I, I can't believe, you know, he's dead, you know, and blah, 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 blah. But the entire time he's saying this, it's Goku on screen fighting, clearly alive. Um, I just think that's funny. But the fight next episode looks really good. Like, it looks really, really good. It's all It all seems to be done by Naoki Tate, who is a really good animator uh, for Dragon Ball Super. So I'm really excited to see the fight next week. Um, but, yeah, more Goku versus Hit stuff. So, uh, what did you guys think of the episode? Comment on down below, and I guess I will catch you guys later.